Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this particular lecture, we will talk about Hopkins Bioclimatic Law. To know about this law, you must watch this video till the end because we will discuss some key factors what are in this law and how they are related with our crop production aspect, right? So uh, Hopkins proposed that the phenological activity and morphological activity of a plant, it delays for about four days. If we increase the latitude one degree, if we increase the longitude five degree and if we increase the altitude about 12 meter. So what are these latitude, longitude and altitude? I have already mentioned it in our previous lecture. You can find it in our channel. But let me tell you, if we find a globe, right, our earth, then there is a prime meridian, then there is an equatorial line. What is equatorial line? That intersect the prime meridian perpendicularly. If we uh, count the latitude, it is, it is from the equatorial line. If we go north, then north latitude. If we go south, then south latitude, right? North, south, equatorial means that is in the middle. Then if we move upward, then that is north latitude. And if we go downward, then that is south latitude, right? Uh, then a longitudinal line means that is the line uh, right or left of prime meridian, right? If we go east of the prime meridian, then that is called east longitude, then west longitude, right? So longitude cross sect the earth perpendicularly and uh, the latitude, it the equatorial line that is cross secting the uh, earth parallelly, right? And what is altitude? Altitude means what is the height of the particular place from the mean sea level, okay? From the mean sea level, what is the height? That is altitude. Remember, what is latitude? Latitude means what is the degree from a uh, degree of north or south from the equatorial line. Then what is longitude? It is the east or west position from the prime meridian. Then what is altitude? It is the height from mean sea level. So how they affect the crop production? Almost all you know weather parameters they are affected by all these you know latitude mainly latitude and altitude. So if we go north or south from the equatorial line, then we feel cooler, right? We eventually reach the subtropical line, then eventually reach the temperate zone or polar zone, right? If we go northward or southward, so accordingly our climate changes, right? There is tropical climate nearby the equator that is tropical climate there the rainfall is higher the intensity of rainfall is higher then temperature is higher in tropical and subtropical area if we go beyond subtropical zone then temperate zone exists and polar zone exists then there the temperature is much lower so there you can find different types of vegetation there you can find different other weather phenomena so accordingly the vegetation differs right so they affect the crop production there the duration of crop is higher the crop productivity is also higher right again in temperate zone mainly you can find the c3 crops but in tropical zone mainly c4 crop exist and uh, if we go to the upper atmosphere like altitude if we increase the altitude what happens the pressure decreases right the pressure decreases then temperature decreases if we go at the higher altitude like mount everest then there we can hardly breathe and the temperature is in minus okay there the you can find ice caps right so accordingly the plant growth it is being manipulated and different vegetation you can find different types of vegetation there and those are not similar to that that are grown in tropical area so hopkins what he uh, told he told that if we increase the latitude one degree means if we go one degree north or south from uh, the equator then if we increase the longitude 5 degree if we go east or west from prime meridian 5 degree and if we increase the altitude 12 meter what will happen the crop phenology means the growth stage it will delay up to four days right if we go towards north or south from prime, prime meridian it will delay up to four days for one degree each one degree okay if we go 5 degree from uh, you know prime meridian east or west then it will delay four, de uh, 4 days and if we go 12 meter altitude from the mean sea level then also it will delay around 4 days and this is only valid for temperate crops right we cannot assume that if 
we go from equator then it will delay but it is mostly valid for temperate crops the hopkins bioclimatic law is mostly valid for temperate crop so what how the questions may arise from this section that hopkins bioclimatic law how much like altitude latitude and longitude how many days it shifts that that may be one question then uh, for which type of crops it is validated for temperate crops you have to answer this was all about hopkins bioclimatic law if you face any doubt regarding this or any concept while you are studying you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me in our telegram group see you in the next lecture till then bye bye have a great day